Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you the fastest way how you can ingest data into a device on Datacake using MQTT. First thing we need to do is create a new device. I am in one of my workspaces, click on add device, and then you can select the various kind of integration types. We are going to select the API, which is the generic device type on Datacake, click on next. Now you are asked for the product. Product basically holds the definition because everything here we are starting from scratch. We select new product and we need to give it a name. I call the product Simon's MQDT device. Click on next and now we can add one to multiple devices to the product. I'm going to create two of those. The first one is called Simon's MQDT device. The second one, number two. Click on next. Now you're asked for picking a plan. And as we are supporting up to five devices for free, and there's just two in my workspace, I still can take those two devices to the free plan, click on next, add these two devices. And now we've added device number one and device number two. Let's start with device number one. I'm clicking simply on the device in here, and then it brings us to the basic uh, dashboard editor. The first thing we need to do is go into configuration. When you scroll down a little bit, you reach towards the fields section and in here you can start creating fields so first of all let's create a new field we click on add field we are going to create a field for temperature simply type in temperature as the name you can provide optionally a unit and this is the primary going to explain what this is in a few and we are going to create a second field which is for example humidity and here we are providing a unit and the role is secondary third last but not least field which is a float as well battery and the role is device battery. Now you can see that we've set up three different kinds of field on that device, temperature, humidity, battery, all of them are floats. And we could basically now use the set value option to simulate a device measurement recording or to set the initial device value. But as I've mentioned before, this video is about MQTT and I'm going to show you how you can use the internal MQTT broker to ingest data if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there is the integration section and there is MQDT. If you click on configure, this will bring up a model and here you will see some instructions. You can see the server address, the topic for that device to subscribe or to publish data. In order to connect to the MQDT broker, we first of all need to create a token. To do that, we click in the sidebar on the member section. Then we go to API users, click on add API user. And in here we give a name for the token, QTT token, for example. And we can define some basic permissions, but the only permission that we need is device recording measurement permissions. So we click on add permissions for all devices and workspace, and then you click on can record measurements and click on save last but not least to create the token. So in order to connect to the MQTT broker, I'm going to copy the token now. And then I'm going into uh, my favorite MQTT client, which is MQTT Explorer. And I'm going to create a new connection in here. This is the data key connection and the username and the password are both the token that we just created. So you can simply paste it. Back to Datacake, I need to go back to my MQTT device that I created and also back into the configuration. And then we scroll down again until we reach to the MQTT section, click on configure once more. This will open up the modal and in the modal you see to record measurements, publish to, and then there's the publish topic. So we can basically now use this topic in here, copy it, and then you also see that the field name in here is marked in brackets. And this is basically the identifier in uppercase, always in uppercase, which we state here on the field section. So let's go into the MQTT broker, save the connection. Yes, we want to for sure activate encryption, save it. And ah, last but not least for sure, the host is mqtt.datacake.co. Save it and connect. Okay, we're now connected to the MQTT broker. I'm not subscribing to any topics, but I want to publish something. So I simply pasted in the topic structure that I copied here from this model. But as you can see, once more, field name is in brackets. Let's see. The temperature is the identifier. I'm going to copy it back into MQTT Explorer and I'm removing the last one here. So the field name and replacing it by temperature. And now I can click on raw and then basically a temperature value as a string. So like 23.34. And then I'm going to click on publish. And as you can see, this is now on the data cake side. We do the same for humidity, simply a value, that one here. And then last but not least, of course, we also want a battery and that probably is a percentage. So we are going to send it. So as you can see, we published three different kinds of measurement values using the internal MQTT broker. And all we needed to do was connecting 
to the MQTT broker cre using a token and then publishing the data. Let's go back into data. Okay. Scroll down to, scroll up to the top, click on dashboard and let's go ahead and create a small basic dashboard. Value widget for the temperature, add some nice colors to the gauge widget. I'm just going to play with one of those widgets in here, back to the MQTT broker, MQTT client. And if I'm going to send a new value to the temperature once more, publish, we can see that the publish is immediately reflected on the dashboard. So last but not least, if you are at that point, you can start over and add some more widgets like a chart widget, whatever kinds of widget, also widgets for the other devices. And if I click on devices and activate the grid mode, we can see that the Simons MQTT device 01 already has temperature and humidity. But you probably also remember that we created two of these devices. So now the second device, if I click on that, this automatically already has the dashboard that we created for the first one. And it also has the field definitions in the database. And this is because of our product uh, architecture. Both devices belong to the same product. So in order to record data into this device, it has the same topic structure. And all we need to do is to copy this different kind of device ID. But you can see the slug here for the product is identical. And I'm going back to the dashboard. And now I'm going to simply replace this one here and record a different, much colder temperature for this device. And you can see now this change is also reflected here on the second device. And if I go back into the device fleet list, reload once more, we can see that this also now has or is showing the temperature. Last but not least, what can you additionally do is that you can go ahead to our rules section and add a new rule. And in here, we are going to select the MQTT device. The field is the temperature. Let's select the second device because that's in preset on my MQTT Explorer. Select the temperature, current value, if that is larger than, for example, 10 degrees, then send an email. And for email, we are going to create a new email address on the webhook site. Here is a unique email address to test it. Copying it back to Datacake, paste this in as a testing webhook, click on add, and then I'm going to write temperature is too high, something is too warm, insert a placeholder, that was device one and device two. And that's it. I'm going to save the rule now, create rule. Oh, I need to provide a name, like temperature check rule, create the rule. And let's stick here to the requests and let's simulate a new recording once more. And because I said, if it is larger than 10 degrees, I'm going to send something like 12.45 degrees, publish it. And in a few, we will see the email arriving here because that was created from our rule engine, temperature check rule. And in here you can see basically what we also have written in that mail. This is how it's working, how you can connect your MQTT devices. Instead of using MQTT Explorer, for sure you can use any kind of MQTT client on your microcontroller, on your edge board, on any kind of software, third-party tool, Node-RED, whatever, and it's completely free for your five, first five devices. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.